You saw our story and thought what? I thought I was appalled, I was shocked. A CBS2 investigation prompts calls for action. A lawsuit claims the Cook County clerk fails to protect your private information. Good evening, I'm Erica Sargent. Rob has the night off. If you ever got a ticket in Cook County, a traffic ticket, your personal information is publicly available to anyone. Following Brad Edwards' story last night, a Cook County commissioner is calling for court clerk Dorothy Brown to shut down the system, at least for now. We weren't aware of this. Uh, again, CBS is, is coming to us with, with a story that has major implications based off of county government that many of us are not aware of. Cook County Commissioner Sean Morrison, who owns a large security firm, saw the story. A lawsuit against Cook County Circuit Court Clerk Dorothy Brown accuses her of violating the Driver's Privacy Protection Act, intended to prevent the disclosure of personal information found in state motor vehicle records. Yet, at public computers at the Daily Center, you can get a person's date of birth, address, vehicle, plate number, height, weight, driver's license number from traffic tickets. We got them for Mayor Rahm Emanuel, Sheriff Tom Dart, sports stars, federal judges, police officers, domestic violence victims. There's no discrimination. It's very hard for victims to shield this information legally. Denise Wolf Markham, a domestic violence victim advocate, saw the story. The Privacy Protection Act came about after the 1989 murder of sitcom star Rebecca Schaefer by a stalker who found the actress's information through motor vehicle records. I'm not sure what the public policy reason is for having this information available to anyone who wants it, but it does pose very serious dangers for our clients. The lawsuit says Clerk Brown is in the wrong. Clerk Brown says she's not in the wrong. Either way, should that information be so readily available in that building behind you? It's my personal opinion that that information should not be readily available. And what's extremely troubling is that as we sit here right now talking today, it's still readily available. A lawsuit aside, we should be moving relatively quickly to take it down in the interim. And we asked Brown's office for follow-up comment today. The office maintained that they're in compliance with federal and state laws and Supreme Court rules. The lawsuit says not so. Brown's office has until August 8th to respond to that complaint. Erica. Okay, thank you, Brad. Mm -hmm.